Alrighty, Heist, are you ready? This is going to be exciting. Never done before. <laughs> uh, a the race. Great steam uh, race. The great steam race, yes. Yeah. The only the only brutal part is it's going to be hard to understand status updates until it, after it's, the fact. It's true, yeah. So we're, yeah. we're not going to cut any part of the race, so it, you'll be able to watch both videos simultaneously and get the experience that we can't have. Uh, yeah, sync we're, it we're all not, up. It'll be we're great. not going to know what happens until it happens, so... Yeah, so we both got similar missions. We're both going from the harbor and town to the steel mill. We're going to do it with steam 060s. Uh, I have 140 tons at 72 meters. What do you have? I have 132 tons at 72 meters, so I'm eight yeah. tons lighter. Um, okay, you know, well, that's fine. Yeah. A little, hopefully, little edge. hopefully I'm on a shorter, like a closer track to the exit. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it I might make a difference. Yeah, my train's in the uh, the G yard, so. Uh, I don't know what yard mine's in, but I've put you, a little bit Do you not at play it. all the Deer Hill Valley all the time? How could you not I know? mean, I play it a little bit, but I don't have the yards memorized. I'm not that <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> Fair so anyway, enough. we're gonna race. On the 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 way the way your time is stopped is when you get to the other yard, the destination, which is gonna be different for us in the steel mill. It might there's a little bit of RNG here as to who get what's destination. Right. Um. But you have to stop your train at the destination, unhook it, and then turn in the job and have it like say completed with the you know the final paperwork, right? Right. Or whatever. Right. All right. I'm ready to accept my order. Are you ready? Me too. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Click. <laughs> And now it's on. on. We got places to be. Yo, let's go. Highball. Highball. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Water. I should have teleported into the water. Okay, hold on. That's uh, fine. That's fine. Get me all in right. the We have not oh. fired up the choo-choos at all. Uh, no, we haven't started no. any of this process at all. So, okay, yeah. I remember you have to turn on the front two valves. I don't remember what they're <laughs> for, but I remember they have to be on. <laughs> yes, the front two valves. Those ones. Yeah. One's they're... for the brake and one's for the dyno, right? Like one's... Well, you don't necessarily need the dyno. But yes, you need the uh, the air compressor turned on. Was it just for lights? Is that the only thing the dynamo does? Yeah, yeah, it's just for your electric lights. Oh, which I mean the, oh, the wait, cab light is nice. Yeah. Where's my? Sh oh, I have a shovel. Okay. I was gonna say you don't have a shovel. It's it's sandbox. We're playing sandbox mode. Uh, so by default you have everything. So you should sure. have all the all stuff right. you need. All right. You already lit lit your. Uh, how do I? I I'm on? lit off, um, and I am getting ready to back onto my train now. Actually, you're already lit, really? Yeah, yeah. I've already got ten bars of steam pressure. How? How do you have? Okay. My because <laughs> I'm is... a professional steam locomotive engineer, and apparently yeah, I got not. coal. I got coal <laughs> in my thing. Coal goes in the hole. Oh, and I already then, have uh, nine yeah. bars of pressure. Screw you. I'm doing great. Oh, look at you, fancy pants. Uh, All right. Oh, I gotta untie untie this brake. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, and we've got places to be! Hi, ball! Untie this brake. This has to go in reverse. We gotta open the cylinder cocks. Alright, well, I'm highballing out of town already, so, you know. You're already leaving? Yep. Bro, I'm not even going in reverse yet. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got cylinder cocks closed, and uh, yeah, we're getting out of the harbor here, so. Throttles on the ceiling. Uh, does it always break down to go off, or does it break up to go uh, off? Scroll wheel, never... scroll wheel down takes the turn off, off the yeah. brake, right? Yeah, yeah. You gotta make sure you get that handbrake off. I am, I am very slowly this. moving backwards, but I'm grinding against some kind of brake, and I don't. Oh, it's the car brake. Yeah, the, okay, all, well. the car is always there's always one brake on the cars uh, by default yeah. in Dural Valley. So, okay, I also gotta open my brake lines up. There we go, okay, okay. I'm a little bit slower off the line, but I have a feeling you're gonna bin it halfway down and I'm gonna be fine. I mean, so I definitely was not getting level two spicy derail sounds as I went through that switch. That was okay, definitely well, not there. happening. All right, we're 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 good. Now, I have, a, I've, I kind of played a little bit of, of steam simulating in, in derail valley. It did not go well. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I blew up my train, but why am I? Hold on, I gotta believe the, this. The locomotive dock. went Cthulhu mode on you. You don't like it. Yeah, it, it went that. really bad. But the question I have with 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 Derail Valley, um, well, first of all, why am I grinding brake? You probably still have oh, a handbrake. The engine down, has a handbrake. So my as handbrake well. is on. Yeah. My engine handbrake was. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I was pushing through the handbrake. I need to turn down my Derail Valley. Hold on. I can't hear you. <laughs> it's just uh, oh, nice, no. nice and loud. Well, trains are loud, so. Yeah, I'm wasting my time though by doing it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you know, when I was playing Dero Valley, right? And I was trying to uh, to drive my steam train, everyone was commenting on how inefficient I was. But 
does derail valley actually simulate the proper reverser positions they like do you need your reverse they absolutely the absolutely do uh the steam sim in derail valley is really impressive uh i know uh Zybok is one of the developers he used to make mods for derail valley and now he's one of the devs and Zybok is very smart and knows a lot about Steam and Steam Sim. So um, he actually right. wrote basically a paper on it when uh, he made his realistic Steam Engine mod back in the day. And so they use all that. So yeah, you absolutely want the Johnson bar hooked up as far as you can get it. Uh, otherwise, oh my God, yeah. I didn't have the, I didn't have the blower on at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't need the blower. I mean, I, I haven't touched the blower myself, so. And what is, what is wait, blowdown is what? Bleeding the cylinder. That, uh, the that gets rid of the water from the boiler. So, oh, I just blew down a bunch of water for no. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. That uh, that helps the locomotive go uh, achieve its Cthulhu greatness. Oh my God, I am going spicy fast now. Uh, me, me too, actually. <laughs> I need to, I need to, I need to look for. Hold on, I need to make sure my switches are set before I like, you know, kill myself leaving. To, oh, it is grinding. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh no, I'm gonna put down a safety save. Cause safety <laughs> save. <laughs> I'm putting down you. a safety save, bro. <laughs> Uh, bring Trust it, bring it ahead to a, a safety save uh, into a crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna safety save. It turned out my this steam train is loud. She is spicy Dude, loud. It's got, like, uh, it's got some things to say, okay? Like chug, yeah, it is. and chew, and woo. I'm, I'm wasting time here early, but it's okay. Later on, this is gonna help me. Uh, no, it's not. I doubt it. It's fine. Are you already at the steel mill? Like, are you? <laughs> God, like, no, like, no, I'm nowhere near the steel mill yet. Oh, this is going spicy fast through this corner. I don't know. I don't know if you know what spicy fast is, Con. <laughs> when I hear the grinding of the rails, I get scared. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I'm doing 50 okay. and 40. So let's let's talk optimal steam driving now that I have you here, because I, I haven't really... Oh, God, is that was so spicy fast. My goodness. If I don't derail through this, I'm going to be blown away. <laughs> it's just my whole thing. It's leaning, bro. It's like a 10 degree lean. It's right, fine. fine. Don't worry about it. We need speed to get out of here anyway. Okay, so full reg all the time, essentially. I mean, it, it depends. Like, I have I put my throttle on the ceiling and I haven't moved it yet, but um, it, it depends on what you're doing, of course. Uh, and that's a drink for all of you playing at home. Uh, yeah, but if I'm, going, <laughs> if I'm going up a hill, like oh, I'm yeah. doing now, Thro I want Throttle on the ceiling full... and, and modulate speed with the Johnson bar, for sure. But, like, if I want more pulling power, I put the Johnson bar full forward. I mean, you, you probably don't want to go full forward, but you, you might need to. Yeah, depends. It's not really just, good to I just have keep it. The full always file or like always full. I, I mean, yeah, if, if you're working ton of jump hill, like there's no reason not to, uh, unless you're popping the safety valve. But uh, you know, you, that's wasted steam, right? Uh, if you're popping right. the safety valve. So yeah, I mean, you, you keep calling it. Um, with how fast we're running for this race, uh, I've been just keeping it pretty full, honestly. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm at, uh, I need to go, okay, I need to go right at this first switch. I'm at, uh, nine bar of pressure, and I'm, I'm a hundred, a hundred on the two. Oh, good God. On the two bars. And got, it, got 50, it wide open. Yeah, I'm doing 50 kilometers an hour, I think, or 50, no, 50 kilometers? kilometers yeah, yeah, yeah. they're kilometers an hour. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just wide open, I don't even care. I mean, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing, so... Does Derail Valley simulate you actually having to close the uh, louvers to the firebox, or does that matter? Uh, you know, I don't think that actually gets simulated. I'm leaving mine wide open. Um, yeah, obviously, I on, on a real engine, you would you'd draft in a bunch of cold air by doing that, but it doesn't right. seem to matter and too you, much. You don't want to do that. You want to keep the hot air. Right. Yeah, I mean, unless unless you're over-firing, and then you want you want it to kind of shut up a little bit. In which case, yeah, uh, you, you definitely do crack the door sometimes, but if you're really working against it, uh, you, you, you try and keep it shut, yeah. I I think I broke one of my cylinders. <laughs> Good start, Con. <laughs> I it. have a rat. I have like a weird ringing noise. Oh, you didn't turn the lubricator on. That's uh, it's kind of um, silly that you have to turn the lubricator on on these engines because uh, you where shouldn't is have the to. But it is on the engineer's side, uh, down, kind of up by the cylinders. Up at the front. Up at the front, yeah. There should be a valve down there that you'll find. There's two valves on the one side. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh Dude, the boy. lubricator's like sound. under the train. It's under the train. Oh, There's yeah, no just, way I'm gonna... It's just tucked in there. Hmm. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get that without stopping. <laughs> well, uh, then either stop or melt your valve gear. The choice is yours. Uh, okay, we're gonna... 
gonna slow down, I guess. Oh, God dang so, it. So, I think that is my, like, one frustration with the accuracy of- Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry, I'll talk about trains in a second once I finish going the wrong direction. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's good, that's good, it's gonna help me. Stop! I, I, yeah, I've literally heard this grinding noise for the last, like, you know, <laughs> ten hours. I'm, I'm so used to my, my career save, I always have the switch thrown. Uh, at this one junction, and it was just not thrown, and I just went careening around this curve. You're doing like 50 kilometers an hour. <laughs> it's just totally right, I almost been there. It's fine. I see the lubricator sign, but where's the valve for it? What? It should uh, it should highlight when you put your mouse over it. Oh, there it is. Well, but it's been a rough ride for my train. I'm uh, surprised. It's, it's the, fine. Uh, just uh, you know, they, they don't need lubrication. But yeah, that's no, like no, no, definitely. That's Definitely my not. one, like, realism accuracy complaint, I think, with Deer Valley Simulator, is that that mechanical lubricator just pumps oil when the rods move. Like, you don't like turn all, it on. It always just, right. as soon as the, val like, the things do the thing, then it's putting oil in. And, and I get why they, like, they changed it so it doesn't do that for the sake of the game. Like, okay, now it's a mechanic, and you, you have to make sure that you, oh, Jesus. My, oh, I'm, I'm, I got some bad news here, Heist. I got some bad news. What's your bad news? One, I filled my boiler to max because I forgot to turn off the injector. It's fine. So we we got a lot of a lot of water, not a lot of pressure. Well, actually, we got some pressure. Uh, number two, I think my valve gear just melted because they're still grind like they're still making that that squealing noise. It'll make it for a while. Um, I've only forgotten to turn the lubricator on once in this game, uh, okay. and and it makes the sound for a long time until uh, until you actually okay, get oil to it. So it, it'll probably be a couple minutes. Okay, uh, the other thing, so, uh, there's the independent brake on the front of this, right? Right. And then there's that secondary brake, but it never locks in the full position, because apparently you have to use it to, like, bleed the line or something. How does that work? So, like, people... this this is another kind of goofy idiosyncrasy with uh, non-accurateness to the real life, right? So, they simulated what's called non-self-lapping air, which means that, okay, you've got four positions on this automatic brake valve, which is the secondary brake you're talking about, the big one. It's for the train. Uh, right. You have release, you have run, you have uh, application, or no, sorry, in, in Deerville Valley, you have release, application, or re release, lap, application, and emergency. And for some reason, it's sprung. So if you go to emergency, it doesn't stay in emergency, which quickly dumps the brake pipe, basically. But if you go into application, it'll slowly decrease the brake pipe uh, and slowly get that application, but you have to lap it manually. It's called non-self-lapping air because it you have to move the valve back to stop changing the brake pipe. On more modern right. engines, as you move the valve, it will self-lap. And so you move the valve further, it just makes a bigger set on the air. And then it just self-laps itself and takes care of itself. But uh, with the, the older non-self-lapping style, they don't do that. So you have to you reduce the pipe to the pressure you want, then you lap it. So, yeah, it's a, it's a neat thing. A little, little goofy, because, yeah, they're not sprung on the uh, the real thing. And there's a couple more positions that uh, probably didn't really need to be in Deer Valley, so it's fine. But realistically, you just basically hold that brake forward until it gets the pressure you want the pipe to be at, and then you release it. Yeah, you, you go to lap rather than release. Yeah, you, you you go from application to lap, and lap just, lap just says, hey, don't do anything. Because release right. is going to always charge the brake pipe up to whatever the feed valve pressure is, which uh, shows on the gauge somewhere, whatever the... Uh, little um, red one yeah a little red like whatever your brake pipe is um which uh, is actually the black one which is five yeah no the black one five yeah, sorry, bar the red one comes to red's, red's the brake cylinder kinda. yeah yeah um and so you, you, you basically want to keep it you know that like there and then you want to take a set okay you you move the valve over you set things up a little bit you get to a certain pressure then you go back to lap and it'll retain whatever set you made uh, and then when you go to release then it'll charge back up to that five bar again i'm not gonna lie mike my lubricator's been running for a while now, and my wheels are still squeaky. Uh, it's it's probably. I mean, you you just murdered I the probably poor choo -choo. have no very, on any were, of these. <laughs> you were very mean to the poor choo choo by not lubricating it. I mean, think of there, how there, big those pistons are. It was, it was are. like a brass sheath, right? That's what they used to like to contain the rods, isn't it? Like a, a little brass lining or something. So uh, like yeah, so they're yeah they're they're brass they're bronze really, but yeah. Uh, but that's not what the mechanical lubricator lubricates. The mechanical lub lubricator lubricates the valve and then the cylinder itself. Uh, oh, so yeah, perfect. you're just you're just ruining the rings of the engine itself, basically. I wonder so. if I'm losing like pressure and performance because of that. You know, I don't know. I don't know how how granular they get sim on that level. Um, so yeah, it's still loud though. It is still. It, it will, I'm going uh, 60. 
I'll but... scream for a while. Oh! Uh, Did you bin it? Uh, my bin engine it? just exploded. Oh, nice! I, like, full, full cthulhu Full Cthulhu, the steam engine. Yep. Full Cthulhu. I yeah, got an see. Argon leak. See. I've got an Argon leak call. <laughs> Con? <laughs> Con? There's, uh, there's this thing that exists on the locomotive. It has. It's supposed to have this blue stuff in it that's called water. You may have yeah, heard of I, it before. I must. I must have. I honestly wasn't paying attention. I must have forgot the uh, dude. I full Cthulhu. You, you was, filled it I, all the way, and then and then it very quickly unfilled, and then you you explode. Oh you explode my god! I full You know what? I think I think I have a save. <laughs> I mean, I you can reload. Go ahead. That is. That I, well, is I'm gonna reload. I don't have a choice. I have to reload. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm gonna you, make uh, a new you... save just so I have one. <laughs> but I'm gonna reload this as well. Oh my god, dude! I, I, I wasn't paying. I turned. You know what it was? My boiler filled up, and I turned off my injector, and then I forgot to turn it back on. Yep. You know that. Uh, that'll get you. When I you're definitely... on a steam train, if you're the engineer, right, you're running the regulator and the throttle and the brakes. Well, the regulator is the throttle. It's just a very British well, the regulator, throttle. Well, the John yeah. regulator, right. Johnson Bar, and brakes, right? Yep. You're running all three of those. Yeah. What is your... So your fireman runs the injector? Yes. I mean, most locomotives actually have two injectors, one on each side, one on the engineer's side, one on the fireman's side, so there's redundancy. Uh, and so sometimes the engineer needs to run the injector, but most of the time, yeah, the fireman's uh, in charge of that, so... All right, it actually auto-saved, I think, right after I turned on the lubricator. <laughs> nice. Oh, I have lots of water in my cylinders. I can hear that sloshing around. It's fine. I'll just open the cocks. You'll be fine. Let's bleed that out. Yep. First time I tried driving a steam train in this game, by the way, I completely destroyed the cylinders, like broke them with water in them. Con, I didn't. I... have you learned nothing from all of our no, video I, game you adventures know, You don't together. have to do these things in other railroad games. It's so... true. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I'm gonna turn cons, my injector so on. A, a suggestion more than anything else. Yeah. All right, this is this is not looking good for my chances of winning this race, to be honest. Uh, no, it's not. I, would I say. can't believe I blew up the steam engine, dude, by it's forgetting fine. to turn the injector back on. <laughs> like I wasn't even expecting it either. I wasn't paying attention at all. I was like, ah, it's fine. And then just boom, gone. Yeah. The uh, the sloshing. That's another little kind of idiosyncrasy of. Uh, Dural Valley, where the sloshing is a little much, honestly, so you might have just went over a grade transition, and you had lots of water, and then and then all of a sudden you didn't, because they kind of, they gamified it, right? They made it more of an experience, so that even a small grade transition actually makes oh, the water not, slosh a lot more. If you're not full, it'll just destroy your, your water level? Right, yeah, if you go from uphill to downhill, you know, the glass is at the back, uh, and so right. the water will disappear real quick which uh, I definitely learned in a, in a video, and I was so confused as to why it blew up, because I had a full glass of water, like, all the way to the top on a slight uphill, and then I changed to going slight downhill, and it blew up, and I was like, what? This doesn't make any sense. Well, my injector's running full bore, so hopefully it'll, uh, it'll get some water into the system here. Hopefully so. I can't yeah, believe you're that. Gonna, you're gonna okay, that. so if I want to go maximum speed, right? What's my ideal like Johnson bar position here? I got my as close open. to center as you can for more speed. Like as that, close to center as I can. That way you're not fighting anything. Like you need to accelerate, right? So you have to have the uh, the bar up. You know, uh, it's pretty get, far in the to corner get to get going, right? But like, right. Once you're going, you don't you don't need to do that. So, and I am going spice pushing fast. Them. Yeah, I'm doing 55 now. It's so interesting driving a steam train compared to a diesel. The diesel is just like turn on and go. I mean, it's, really, I mean, it really is. It's turn key. It's just, it's just like turn on, hit your throttle. Oh no, you overheated your power unit. You know, like oh no, do? what are you gonna do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, steam is like remember these 47 steps and balance them all, and then right. maybe you'll <laughs> move forward. Perhaps, or perhaps you won't. Oh god, I'm coming in nice and hot here. Are you at the steel mill already? I am. Yes, I am rolling I'm into the yard. I'm at the. So I'm. I've got two switches to go to the steel mill. I'm like just at the edge of that little water pond. Oh really? Um, that like like right on the mid passage, the northern, the passage there that we're coming across. I'm still going like from east to west on that passage, and I'm right at the bottom of that water pond. Yeah, well I blew up, dude. You know. <laughs> it happens. It's fine. Sometimes the train blows up. All right, and break on. All right, I got We're, full we water are now. separated. That's great. That's great. Uh, I can't believe I, I blew up. That's fine. It happens. It happens to the best of us, including I, you. I'm so mad at myself. I was telling myself too. I'm not gonna blow up today. You know, I'm gonna, <laughs> and I'm here you are, have, and uh, and you blew up. That's I'm fine. gonna have a good day. <laughs> All right, 18 minutes, 17 minutes, 50 seconds, uh, and then 18 minutes, seven seconds to validate the order. 
Uh, I'm done. Dang. I made 17 grand. Pow. No and, damage. And, and, no yeah. damage and, to the environment. I didn't blow up a train. Well, I'm not going to have no damage feats. either. That was, that was <laughs> alternate Connor in a different universe. Uh, I see. Sure, that's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting. I've definitely lost the race, but it'll be interesting sure. to see if I can beat you in time because the autosave won't count. It'll right. only count the actual time, right? So, so you, you lost the race, but maybe maybe you'll uh, win the time trial. Yeah. That's yeah, a, I, I don't, I don't know. I had to stop to turn on my lubricator. It, uh, it the good news is my my uh, you know my bearings they sound really good right now. You know I'll do you a favor since you're done all ahead. I'll just I'll I'll share my stream in Discord for you so oh, you can oh really boy. just I can just can really comment it, just on my steam it. driving abilities here. You Why know? not? Oh yeah. As you can you. see, my water level is perfect. We're not making any mistakes this time. Uh, yep. No blowing up this time. No more Cthulhu locomotives, please. But, you know, we're just cruising. I in I noticed one thing which is interesting. If you crank the blower up to full, you can build the fire temp up much higher. Which, I don't really know what well, the advantage while, while is. While running? Yeah. That doesn't like, make it'll, a lot of sense, but that's okay. Yeah, like, if I turn my blower off, you'll see, like, my fire temp's gonna go down a bit. Maybe huh. not. No, I mean, it, it depends It depends on draft, look. right? Oh, yeah. But look, it, it drops. And then if I crank my blower up to full... It'll come back up to like close to 1200, and the fire will turn like less less black. Right. Yeah. Uh, in in reality, basically, the blower is it's just a pipe that dumps out the stack and causes a yeah. vacuum in this in the smoke yeah, box. Yeah. See, look, you can see the temps going up. And so, like, if you have the locomotive working and the throttles open, that just drafts so much harder than anything the blower can ever do. Because, I mean, you're talking right. about a blast nozzle that on an engine like this is probably still, like, a good two and a half, three inch hole that literally is a nozzle. Like, it's like it's like a rocket engine, basically, a, prim a crude rocket engine that the steam comes out of, essentially. Um, versus, like, the blower is usually, like, an inch or inch and a half piece of pipe, uh, and it can only, like, flow so much, right? Because it's the length of the whole locomotive because it runs from the cab all the way up to the front, so you can only get so much flow through it. And so, really, as soon as you get the rocket exhaust of the locomotive chuffing, uh, you, you really, like, there's nothing else that compares, so. On B3I, fine. so I'm just two tracks over oh, from... Oh, wow, we have the same, uh, same end track. That's funny. That's good. For B3I, so once I get into this steel mill... Is this okay? So, how realistic are these station maps to real life station maps? Is this not, actually not at all? <laughs> no, okay, I was just about to say. I'm like, I wasn't sure. If they're it was very, like... very gamified. Uh, you know, they're, I mean, no, no industry good. is set like, up they're... like that, but. No. You know they're they're nice for what they are, but oh for sure that's that's definitely true. And and for the sake of the game, like it really makes sense. And then all the course the the tracks are all labeled, outbound, inbound, all that stuff. Um, and then per yard, but I mean like no industry is really set up that way, right? Because we have more boundary conditions in real life than than we do in the video game. I mean no yard right. is that nice, uh, and usually they're goofy and they've been redone a million times throughout the years. And there's all sorts of wackiness, and none of the labels make any sense. And yeah, learning learning a train yard for real is uh, is hilarious because none of it makes any sense ever. <laughs> Dude, I'm cruising great though. Like I'm I'm burning really dark smoke. Well, I mean that's not great, but I put too much coal <laughs> in. I think I'm also it, it does happen. Feed them at sixty coming up. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing how far I can run while it takes you to get the steel mill. So I'm just I'm just puffing down the line right now. I'm heading towards the oil well north right now. I think I'm. I think I'm actually at the steel mill. Uh, you're just about there, yeah. You can see it up ahead, so you're gonna have to get some switches. Yeah, there. I'm just like basically. I just got a co. I got a break here a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely came in hot, and, and there's Khan, whole train of uh, <laughs> explodey boys behind him, and he's slamming no, the independent around. Ar I'm good. It's argon <laughs> gas. It's it's a noble gas. Oh, it's it a noble gas. It's an it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's inert. It, it just says nothing. hazmat on the side, you know. Yeah, I don't know why it's hazmat. It's argon. It would literally do nothing. Like it's it, probably under high pressure, I'd imagine. But yeah, well, I mean, it's still not really gonna do anything. Okay, so I'm going not there. I'm going into this switch. Oh god, you, I am you not are, slow you are enough. Cooking. Yeah, th that's what the train brake is for. The automatic. Yoink. You're, Yoink. You're, you're entering the yard about the same speed I did. I, I yeah, hit that doing about We're 55. Dead. Full brake. Full brake. Just hold this forward for. Why is it not braking? Did you brake, piss off your brake shoes? Did you hook up Do the I air? Have brake shoes? Did you hook up the air to the train? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. I thought I did. Because uh, if you did, I mean, good. you know. We're stopping. We're stopping. 
just uh, I love the go. fact you can actually Dutch drop in this game, which right. I did once. Right, so much it's, fun. It's cool that it works. Yeah, All right. spicy switching. Now I just gotta get to my station house. Right, let's see what's Con's time, everybody. Clearly after, beat uh, ice here. After reloading. I had eight tons less, though, so, you know, that's why I wanted to. Oh, my God, I'm not. I'm you not. didn't tie the brake down. You gotta tie a handbrake, oh, and you're already the slower. Oh, you 19 <laughs> minutes, Con. All right, shut up. In the time it's taken Con to go to the steel mill, I am almost to the oil well north. I'm oh almost double up, the distance. Listen, listen. I gotta tie. I gotta tie the brake. All right, there you go. Twenty minutes. Twenty. Twenty minutes. Dang well it. done. Twenty minutes, fourteen seconds. Uh, uh, yeah. Dude, you were running so fast. I don't know how you got the engine fired up so fast. Throttle you were, like, on the moving. ceiling. <laughs> you were already moving before I even got in reverse. Well, you have to watch uh, watch one of my videos one of these times. Got uh, a good 101 series, you know, where we explain how train work. Uh, and and it's really simple, Con. You put coal in hole and then you light it. And then yeah, you make no. steam. That's that's Thanks. what happens. I, I did that, but I didn't get moving as quickly as you did. <laughs> anyway, it was a good race. I mean, I you know I might maybe next time I won't blow up. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's fine. We'll have to learn how to use the bigger steam engine too. I, I don't know how to use it yet. I mean, it's kind of I mean it's the same thing. It's just bigger and it's got more power and and all that stuff. Uh, right. S two eight two is fun. The SS6, it's so cute. I love that they added it. Um, it's such it a neat little engine. It feels really floaty. When you're going around the track. Oh corner. god, yeah. When you're when you're going fast, the, these steam engines they yeah. do a, they do a dance, and the 060, I mean, it, it does the dance of all time. So you know, it's yeah, fine. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm saying hi to the boys because I got bored. So uh, hello, boys. How you doing? All right. Well, I'm going full speed here. I'm surprised and it didn't gonna, blow up. Just gonna highball it until honestly. the universe derails me. Oh, but, there we uh, go. Yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you got any other derail valley ideas, I I like this. You know what? I I remember why I lost now. Uh, eight tons. Eight, eight tons. tons heavier. Yep. So uh, I, I'm blowing up more stuff than you blew up. So, um, but well, uh, you know, the race has I, been uh, over for a minute. So, I'm just gonna go straight down this track until <laughs> until, until something, something happens. happens. It's yeah. fine. Uh, we hope you guys like this. I hope you like the the race format. You know, uh, obviously it's not multiplayer, and we and we'd love if it were to be multiplayer someday. But uh, Dero Valley is like the best train game out there, uh, bar none. Yeah, right now for, for me. there's nothing that competes with its simulation now. Like it's so good. And and it really it was gets good before, the before, and now it's just amazing. It's, it's, like it's it stands alone. I mean, it really gets the game part. Sure, there's like other train sims that are like hardcore sims, or they might be more accurate in every way and the realism and all that. Uh, but Dero Valley is the best train game, in my opinion. It's just fun, and uh, this was fun. And uh, shocker, the real steam locomotive engineer actually beat the uh, uh, the not. Steam you know locomotive what? Engineer, I will. So. I'll I'll get better, and I'll I'll we'll catch have to have up. a rematch. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. That was just. It was just bad luck. I. You know. I forgot the lubricator. I mean, that's just an amateur mistake. You know. It's. And then uh, blowing the locomotive up. That's that's an well, amateur that, mistake yeah, that too, was, right? Yeah. That was. That was. But that was only because I forgot the lubricator. Right. Rule one: keep water in the boiler. <laughs> right, but but I had overfilled the boiler because I had to stop and forgot to turn off the injector while I was stopped, so it kept filling. If I was running. That wouldn't have happened. It never would have happened. A tale as old as time. So you're telling me that you lost because you're bad. I lost because I forgot the lubricator. Because. Everything stems back to forgetting the <laughs> lubricator. Oh, beautiful. What what does an engine need? What does every engine need? Car, you're a car guy. What what does an engine need? It needs oil. Yeah, but friends. I, I was thrown <laughs> off because I expected the lubricator to be automatic. As I'm such a, a steam expert, I knew uh, yes. that it was an automatic system, and I was thrown off that there was a valve for it in the first place. Because like, right, I know it is inaccurate. So uh, it, yeah, who would have who would have a valve on a steam train? Honestly, do they not even know what like right. the 1890s were all about? Like, Dude, come on, for reals. <laughs> for reals, I can't believe that. It's so so inaccurate. It Dude, just so 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 wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's insane. Anyways, and, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. This was a ton of yeah. fun, Con. Great to play games with you again. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's good times. You gotta, uh, I want to race. This, if this game had multiplayer, it would be the best. We could double head these crazy steam engines, and that would be <laughs> a lot of fun. So That would be a lot of fun. I really Someday, hope a maybe. multiplayer mod comes out for it, because there was one back in the day, and I don't know if it'll if it'll ever be a new one. A lot of, uh, a lot of mods have been getting updated for Simulator. So, yeah, yeah hopefully. Hope so. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, bye. bye.